New developments in the case against Karen Reed, the woman accused of killing her police officer boyfriend in Canton two years ago. Well, prosecutors now say that they have DNA evidence that showed Reed's vehicle likely hit John O'Keefe. Our Kirsten Glavin joining us live in the newsroom with these new details tonight, Kirsten. Yeah, this is the fourth opposition the Commonwealth has filed just within the past week. And in it, it does describe DNA evidence in the form of hair and from the beverage cup John O'Keefe was holding. It also highlights relationship of coming to a head. As the high-profile murder case gets closer to trial, prosecutors filing new court documents that allege forensic experts found DNA evidence from the victim himself, John O'Keefe, on Karen Reed's vehicle. O'Keefe, a Boston police officer, was found dead in a Canton driveway during a blizzard after leaving a bar back in 2022. The records state a small apparent hair was noted on the rear passenger side quarter panel. Pieces of an apparent cocktail style glass consistent with that the victim was seen on video exiting the waterfall within his right hand was also noted on the rear bumper. The Commonwealth also stating investigators observed visible damage to the Lexus, including a dent with chipped paint in the trunk drawer, a broken taillight, and scratches on the bumper. An autopsy backing up that theory and ruling out a physical fight, with prosecutors writing, The doctor testified that the victim had abrasions on his right arm. She described abrasions as scratches caused by a blunt object, contact with a blunt object. The documents also paint a dark picture of relationship turmoil between the couple, with O'Keefe's niece and nephew telling investigators the two would argue often. They state the days prior to O'Keefe's death, he tried to end the relationship with Reed refusing to leave his home. The turning point was on vacation in Aruba, when records state that Reed believed O'Keefe cheated on her. At the time of his death, prosecutors say Reed left angry voicemails on his cell phone, stating, quote, the first voicemail in time consists of the defendant screaming, John, I expletive hate you. The defendant continues to leave additional voice messages during this time frame where she is stating that she hates the victim, calls him a pervert, and accuses the victim of expletive another girl. Now, of course, we did reach out to Karen Reed's attorneys tonight about this filing and have not yet heard back. Meanwhile, the prosecution continues to argue that Karen Reed's case should go to trial. As of right now, it is scheduled to start on March 12th. Live in the newsroom, I'm Kirsten Glavin, NBC10 Boston.